going on, Lego Maniacs? It's Tyler Lego right here, and today we're doing another awesome set for Old School Wednesdays, and that is the uh, Mos Espa Pod Race. That set 7171 came out in the original 1999 Star Wars Wave, uh, retailed for 90 US, had 10 minifigs, and um, 896 pieces, if I didn't mention that. And then brand new, this set now is going for 130 US and used it's going for 76 US. So I was actually surprised that this set is going for that cheap. Uh, honestly, very cool set, kind of mixed about it. And I thought it was appropriate to throw the 1999 Star Wars Wave into the old school Wednesdays. And that way it will free up a Tuesday episode to do something completely different that's not Star Wars. Uh, but anyways, cool set, um, has flaws, strengths, but enough talk. Let's get right into it. Okay, so to start, let's just give you guys a little bit of a look at all these three pod racers, as well as some of the minifigs. So we're gonna break it down pod racer by pod racer. So let's start with the uh, Anakin's and gonna be perfectly honest, it's my least favorite of the three, but it's still not too bad. And here we have now this is pod racing. Uh, it's one of the funniest lines in the movies. Corniest, but I mean, I love quoting it. So just giving you guys a 360 view of this. There is no features on this set. Thought I'd give you a little bit better angle on it. Um, but these do uh, open and close, which is interesting. Um, then if you want to look at the cockpit, not a bad looking cockpit, it's just very dated. Uh, these little areas open up. You can't really stick anything in there, but it's kind of just to give the impression, I think that it's sort of flying. They just open up basically. There is some cool printing on this set, I will say. There is no stickers on this set, which is very nice. Um, still a little insignia there. There's a front insignia there for Anakin's pod racer and he just fits in there nice snug, nice and snug. I mean, there's nothing too crazy to say about this pod racer. It's not bad looking, just, I don't know, really dated in my opinion. Um, but yeah, let's now move on to Gascano's, my second favorite pod racer. And here we have Gascano's pod racer. So very, I think it's actually a pretty cool looking pod racer. I love some of the coloring details with that green and purple. I think that's just great. Lego rarely makes purple pieces. They do a bit more nowadays, but back in the day, basically unheard of. Um, so I'll just give you guys, as I destroy it, that's actually a little feature that we'll look at. This pod racer has sort of free features. You could call them that. So right from the get go, I'm just gonna say most pod racer pilots were all cheaters. This guy has a little, literally a hidden saw uh, and it just folds out like so, so he can saw the other guy's engines. They're not very nice dudes. Guscano's not a nice guy, not as bad as Sebulba, but he's definitely not nice. Uh, then there's a back area of the engines to give you guys a little bit more detail. Very cool. Uh, in the front here, as you can see, he has a what looks to be, it's almost like a snake, but it's an S. And then there's the cockpit of Gus Guscano. So literally this fits in there nice and snug. Has a nice little chair piece. Very interesting looking minifig. We'll get more into him. But yeah, not a bad looking pod racer. One thing I will say is I'm not a huge fan of these orange pieces. Um, they could have, they've definitely improved on them later. They made them purple and they made them more staticky, which is more accurate, but this is 20 years old. So, you know what, let's give it a little bit of slack, but still nice looking pod racer. Uh, let's now move on to my favorite one, which is Sebulba's. And here we have Sebulba's. So very cool looking. That's what it looks like front on if it's coming at you just awesome it has nice little printed pieces here as well as you guys can see the little flaps uh, there is saws in the front because yeah so Bulba's out to get you uh, moving on I'll just show you guys a little bit what it looks like to the side more printed pieces then if you're flying it let's say if you get one a back shot it kind of looks like that very very cool um, the engines, let's just center in a little bit more on the engines because, okay. I, the one thing I will say about this set is it is a little delicate. Um, that's one area they could have definitely, definitely improved on, but it is 20 years old. Let's give it a little bit of slack. Okay, so it almost busted apart. 
Uh, so anyways, I just wanted to center on the engines. Very, very nice looking. Let's try and flip this the other side. Very cool looking. What's cool about this too is these little areas, they open up, revealing another little printed piece. And it is on both sides. So I love all these little details. That's a really good, um, basically that they uh, included these little wheels to kind of look like engines on the back. I think that was a smart use of that piece. Um, let's now move on. He's just such a cheater. <laughs> he has saws on the sides right here. Uh, there's the cockpit. He's the only one that actually has a window piece, surprisingly. And this is actually a very nice looking little chrome piece right here as well. Um, there's more printed pieces back back here and here. Again, this utilizes that uh, engine piece that's used on uh, Anakin's, but basically it's put where the cockpit is. So just nice looking set. Here's where Sebulba can sit. Very, very cool. Um, these stands are a little dated as well. They could have made them clear and maybe make this purple. Uh, but still, nice looking pod racer. Do you like it? Now, let's get detailed into the minifigs. Before we do that, though, I just want to mention you get two of these. So this one's supposed to be Sebulba's. Has nice little wrenches. This one is Gascano's. Same thing, just, you know, basically just a green flag instead of a white flag. And last, and the boringest, Anakin's. <laughs> His flag literally has nothing. He has a pit droid though, which is surprising, which we'll get into. Um, but yeah, those I just thought I'd mention those little uh, land pieces that you get with this set. And here we have three of the 10 minifigs. So, I, I, this Qui-Gon is very common. You see him in a lot of sets, but I do really, really like him. Nice looking mustache. You can tell that this is Liam Neeson. They did a really good job with it. And in the middle we have Padme. I thought it was kind of humorous how big her lips are uh, <laughs> on this minifig, but yeah, not bad looking. And then we have Jar Jar. And this was one of the first years that Lego actually started making molded heads basically. So, you know what, for 1999, they did a good job and they kind of kept this mold all throughout, just basically added little details and printing. But the head itself has basically stayed the same. Uh, in the back here, we have some very nice hair on uh, Qui-Gon. Love that hair piece. As well as Padme's. Great hair piece as well. They really went all out with the hair pieces. There is no back face printing or anything. Um, this is, however, a nice looking cape. One of my qualms with this set though is they never gave Qui-Gon a lightsaber. And I mean, if you bought this set for 90 bucks, especially if you're a kid, you're gonna want Qui-Gon to have a lightsaber. So they maybe could include that, even though he didn't have it in the scene. But anyways, small complaint, uh, but let's now move on to next three minifigs. And here we have three more of the minifigs. So, not bad looking. Uh, I'm just gonna say this right now. There, here's the little Anakin kid now. It's not bad, it's just not great. He's just a very plain, oversized child. He's supposed to be way littler, which they kind of improved on that um, later on. They made him smaller, smaller legs, a little bit more detail. Then we have the very first R2-D2. He's not changed much over the years. Still looks the same, no third leg. And then you get a pit droid. So this is Anakin's pit droid right here. I'm not gonna bother like going crazy into reviewing them. Here's uh, Sobulba's and here is Gascano's. What is cool about them though, is they can kind of sort of fold up like in the movies. Although they're still way oversized. like. That's what it is in comparison. It's still almost the size of R2. They're supposed to be a very small little droid. But all in all, not bad. Uh, let's now move on to the final three and the rarest uh, minifigs included in this set. So here's the final two uh, and an updated Sebulba, which we'll get more into. So Gascano is impossible to stand, so I just thought I'd show you guys him like this. The one thing that's unique about him is obviously his face. Nice face looking print. This minifig would never pass nowadays, but still pretty good, and I'm glad that they gave him actual face. I believe they tried to do Gascano or some other minifig, Ugh, not Gascano, but it was another Sebulba pod racer that came in like this basically tub of bricks, and he was awful looking, worse than Gascano. So anyways, this is Gascano, very weird looking little creature, but I do appreciate they gave him a face print, face print at least. 
Um, the other one just basically get ripped off another AquaZone set and threw that face on the pod racer. So terrible. So he, they didn't at least do that with him. They gave him a unique feet face. So these are so the Sebulbas. So as you guys can see, obviously the one on the far right is the original 1999 Sebulba. And when I bought this set, I'm like, you know what? The main thing that's dating this set is probably Sebulba. So I grabbed the new Sebulba. And uh, that's kind of what he looks like. You can see how they kind of improved on him in, I believe, 12 years. I believe the Sebulba came out in 2011. Correct me if I'm wrong. But still, nice looking Sebulba for its date. I mean, you can obviously tell that that is Sebulba. And they all obviously went to great lengths because they made a custom mold uh, for him back in 1999, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, one thing I actually want to quickly do is I just want to show you guys what the uh, Sebulba's pod racer looks like with the updated uh, Saboba. So if you put them in there, that's kind of how he looks. So, I mean, it doesn't look nearly as dated, I think, uh, with an updated minifig. It's crazy what an mi updated minifig can do. Just wanna give you guys a little bit idea what this kind of looks like. So not bad. Um, and I got him off Bricklink for like four bucks. But yeah, those are the mini figs. Now let's get into the end of the review, get my final thoughts as well as your guys' final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, honestly, I think this set's a really good set. In fact, this set's my favorite um, 1999 episode one set. Now it's not perfect. Um, Anakin's Pod Racer, as we looked at, definitely needs improvement and they did improve on and I can't wait to do a um, comparison with it and the brand new one they just made in 2019. But again, this set's 20 years old. Uh, we're gonna see dated minifigs, some of them good, some of them not so good. Like, I'm not a big fan of the uh, Kid Anakin, honestly. Um, but on the positives, oh, um, Saboba's Pod Racer, great looking Pod Racer. Um, in fact, if you saw this on shelves nowadays, I wouldn't really do a double take at it. I, I think that the designers did a really good job at it. Um, as well as Gascano's. I don't like it as much as Saboba's, but I still think it's pretty good. Uh, it's just Anakin's is the main one. Definitely could be improved on. And then again, those orange pieces. Uh, if you guys watch the movie, they're supposed to be purple and they're supposed to be staticky. And the newer pod racers that we get did improve on that. But the older ones, yeah, I mean, they made it orange, wrong color, and it's not staticky at all. It's just a plain orange too. So there is areas it can improve on, but I still really like the set. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like it? Do you not? Do you own it? Um, is there areas you think maybe they could have improved on? I mean, this is a 20 year old set, so you gotta give it a little bit of slack. Uh, but all in all, still really do like it. My favorite of the episode one, 1999 wave. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you today. But if you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any new old sets that I do on this channel including the 1999 Star Wars Wave. Really excited to actually put them on this, uh, on this series of episodes. They're gonna be sprinkled in with it, but I, I thought it was a good idea. It's been 20 years. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you again, but take care and I'll catch you on the next one.